So this is IVDA, Interactive Vehicle Damage Assessment, a training tool to develop and test understanding of best practice in the assessment of vehicle accident damage. So let's jump straight in. When you first launch IVDA, you are presented with the accident details. These are the details which you would be able to obtain from the customer if you were doing a real-world assessment. When you have read this information, you can pick the next section you want to go to. There are three options. Vehicle map, which lets you pick an area on both the exterior and interior of the vehicle. External view, which enables you to move around the outside of the vehicle as well as to go into image sets of areas of your choice. And internal view, which allows you to view around the inside of the vehicle as well as going to image sets of the interior. So first of all, let us use the vehicle map, which allows you to select different areas of the car. For example, here we have selected the underbonnet. We can then scroll through the different images relating to this section. An important part of doing an assessment is using all your senses, so you should not only be looking at the damage, but also feeling the damage. Within this program, you have a similar ability. If you suspect or see damage in any area, such as an external panel, or here on the suspension turret, run the mouse cursor over that section of the image and if the arrow cursor changes to a hand cursor, you can click here to find out more information. Here we can see that the suspension turret has bulged and domed by approximately 8 to 10 millimeters. The same information you would have been able to get if you had run your hand over that area. So what do we do when we have found an area of damage? By using the pin tool, we can drop a pin onto a particular part of the image that we wish to note. We also have the ability to add notes to that pin, such as left-hand suspension turret domed up 8 to 10 millimeters. Once we have closed the notes, we can always access them again by clicking on the pin, like this. As well as viewing the different sections using the vehicle map, we can also view the car using the external view. An important part of doing an assessment is to get an overview of the damage to the car and look for any pre-accident damage. In just the same way as if you were walking around the car, you can rotate the view of the car by clicking and dragging the mouse left or right. You can also click on different sections of the car, such as the left-hand front wheel. In this section, we can, for example, find out the average tyre tread depths around the vehicle. If we click back to see the tyre, we can show another important tool on the image viewer, the zoom tool. If we want to look for any minor scuffs or damage to the wheel, we can move the zoom tool over the wheel to look at the image in detail. If we do find any damage, we can use the pin tool again to make a note of it. As well as looking at the external view of the car, we can also have a look at the internal view. Here we can look for any further damage, but also check important safety items, such as whether the handbrake is serviceable, or checking the condition of the seat belts and whether the pre-tensioners have deployed. Here we can see that the mouse cursor has changed to a hand, indicating that there is a report here. It states that the driver's seatbelt pretensioner has deployed. If we click on this area of the fascia, we can view images which show any warning lights that appear when the engine is started. Again, we can drop in a pin to note any area of interest, such as airbag warning. Once you have gained all the information required, you can complete your damage assessment form. To assist you in this, you can click on My Folder to view all the images where you have dropped in a pin to note the damage. To save your project, you can click on Save File and select the location and file name you wish to use. To load a previous project, click on Load File and select the file you wish to open.